My name is Maurice Moses. I am the Director of Creative Media and Content Strategy for NC State Football. Probably in like middle school, I was like on the multimedia board at church. Uh, so I'd just be in the back, just doing the simple following with the camera, panning left to right. And then they added a, a second angle that I used to uh, try to get more emotion where I would like zoom in on people just like in the congregation. In high school, uh, we had a, it was a group of us where we would create content for the sports teams. And we would kind of like create promo videos and try to like build hype behind the, behind the events that were happening. I graduated from high school in 2016, went to Mississippi State. Uh, I'm there for orientation. Uh, we're just, it's just a group of us. And uh, my orientation leader just said, are you guys interested in, in anything? And I just spoke up and said, photo and video. Uh, he said, oh, let me put you in contact with Derek Cody. Derek Cody ended up becoming my mentor, teaching me everything I knew. I started off, you know, just being the, the freshman intern who uh, would get them batteries, get them cards during game days and things like that while I, while I might be working like soccer or volleyball. Freshman year, I made it a point to know that while I might not be doing like the big sport, I might not be have, I might not have all these huge opportunities. So I'm still going to come in here and uh, give them my all, and hopefully that they notice it. And by the end of that year, uh, I received a little bit of a scholarship. I got to travel with uh, the women's basketball team to the Final Four my sophomore year. I prefer to be internal uh, on a staff as opposed to working external, just because you know you get to know the staff more, you get to know the team more, the players get to know you more, they trust you more. I got a DM from Mercy Falez who was the previous general manager here, wanted to gauge my interest. I got a DM from him on Monday, and I think that Friday I was on the phone with Coach Doran and uh, got offered the job, and two weeks later I, I was here at NC State. The same way that people instilled, like they took the time to teach me, it feels great to pay that forward to the next generation of creatives. What, whatever you put in, I will reciprocate that. So if you want to come to a practice and shoot, I'm, it might not be on my schedule to shoot practice that day, but I'll make sure that I get out there and help you learn how to shoot. I think it's great to have a diverse uh, group of people around you. It's good to have somebody who likes to get creative, make an open blender and see what can come out of their mind. Or it's also great to have people who can tell a story long form or even short form storytelling. And it's cool to have, you know, different personalities that, you know, somebody might be more organized, but somebody might, might be more outgoing. and. Uh, able to talk to anybody. I just know that I, I try to come in, work hard, and put in a lot of the hours that a lot of people may not know that go into uh, creative content. It's not just show up on game day and make a sick edit. It's, you know, hours of uh, organization and preparation and knowing that I just genuinely cared about uh, what's going on here and I wasn't just here for any sort of attention, but just here to make this department better. It's not just about uh, what we have going on right now. And 20 years from now, ESPN wants to do a 30 for 30 documentary about NC State football. Well, they have all the tools that they need to tell that story.